Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the transformative power of vision boards. I'm going to be guiding you through your very own vision board as well as share insights as to why vision boards is not just an ordinary craft project. I'm going to be sharing with you steps to kickstart your project and your journey towards a brighter, more intentional future. So grab your supplies and come along with me to this wonderful world of vision boards. Step one, define your goals. Consider your short term as well as long term goals. Think of aspects such as life, career, health, relationships, um, personal development, all those things that is of utmost importance to you. Step two, this is the fun part, gather materials. Whatever you want to use on your vision board, you need to have it readily available and on hand. Things like magazines, scissors, glue, the cardboard that you actually want to paste the, the pictures onto. Make sure that when you are starting the process that all of those items are closely at hand. You don't want to be moving away from the space that you are at, looking for scissors, looking for print, looking for glue. Um, you need to have all of those things in the same space so that you're not distracted with anything. Step three, choose images as well as words. So this was my favorite part throughout the process. I love Pinterest. Um, I went through Pinterest, I looked through pictures that inspires me, that evokes an emotion. Through the last couple of weeks, I went and sourced those pictures, put it into the folder, so that when it got time to me actually sitting down and creating this vision board, I have intentionally looked at the pictures and images that I would like to place on my board. Step four, organize and arrange. I've touched on this slightly in step three, but it's so important to have batches of categories that you would like to touch on. This is the part that you really have to dig deep. You need to be intentional about the things that you are putting on this board. What do you want for 2024? What are the areas that you really want to see flourish and grow in 2024? If it is your career, if you're wanting to do new courses, um, if you're wanting to elevate your health, drink more water, you need to be really visual on these aspects. You will see on my vision board, one of the things that I've put on there is, I want to drink more water. It can be as simple as that. I got the most aesthetically pleasing picture with a beautiful bottle and a glass of water. And whenever I see that picture, it really makes me feel inspired. Okay, so I just quickly grabbed my phone. I am on Pinterest at the moment and I'm looking at my vision board that I created um, to the end of December 2023 into Jan 2024. Um, and for the last couple of weeks, I've just been adding in pictures um, and it wasn't organized or arranged at all. I just added in pictures and then afterwards I sorted through it. So I just wanna share with you some of um, the folders that I created on Pinterest. One of the ones that was really important to me was a home folder. Um, two years ago, one of the goals that I added onto my vision board is that I would want to purchase a home. And that was a goal that we managed to achieve um, two years ago. This year, I'm wanting to elevate it because I really want my home to be the best that it could possibly be. So um, I've added in really nice inspo pictures. Um, I'm hoping to achieve a new kitchen this year. I'm I like, I want it completely gutted, brand new, and I'm putting that inspo picture on my, um, on my vision board. Um, we've got quite a bit of open spaces on our property, and I've looked at some really cool nooks to chill at, beautiful landscapes. Um, so I've got some of those pictures in there as well. And then I've also been a bit cheeky and this is the thing with vision boards. You can think as big and as literal as you want it to be. So I've also added on a picture of a key because I'm hoping for us to acquire um, a new property that we want to obviously use for rental purposes. So I'm dreaming big. You guys can literally dream big whatever you would want to aspire to add that onto your vision board so that is what's in my home vision board um, 
I've added on a travel um, folder as well because you know travel is a big part of my life I enjoy it as much that I would tattoo it on my body <laughs> um, so this year I put travel on the cards um, some really cool passport pictures I had some words saying good things are coming um, I've got the wing of the airplane as well as some a sky picture and I feel like those are pictures that really inspire and motivate me because remember on the days when you're feeling so not motivated you are procrastinating you want to look at this vision board and remember the reason why you put these goals in place okay so then I also have a folder called small business for some of you that may or may not know um, my sister and I co-own a business called Hello Bay um, and we do customized printings gift boxes we just do a lot and um, this year I obviously have big dreams and big aspirations for our little small business so this is a little shameless plug I'll add the link below um, for you to check us out and yeah so I've just added things like I have a millionaire mindset minding my female owned business um, yeah and then yeah some really cool pictures of like loads and loads of orders and things like that so you guys can go as crazy and as practical as you want it to be it's your vision board it's completely up to you what you want another thing that i really added in here was marriage and family and that's some of the things that is exceptionally important to me um, my husband of 11 years and my little boy that is three years old and I feel sometimes that we are in this rut of achieving so many things that your family sometimes get not as prioritized as what they should be. So I've added this in there because I do think that this year I would like to make it a priority for my husband and I to go on actual dates once a month. So I've added it in here um, that that's something that I want and obviously had a little cute picture of us on, on a date because obviously you know with a three year old full-time working mom with the side business um, and all of the things that comes with this lifestyle it does sometimes get quite crazy so that is definitely something in there and then also like got a picture of like three hands um, so it's a picture of mom dad and a little toddler with their hands on it and this year I want to take more family pictures um, I realized that the only pictures that we really have together as a family is over Christmas time oh. So I really want to prioritize, even if it's informal, us going to the beach, um, taking our tripod with and snapping some family pictures at the beach. That's something that I'm going to be definitely doing more of this year. I also have a tab that is um, that says that's titled God um, because I really want to be more intentional about the time um, that I spend in the word. So. Um, yeah, so I've got this really cool picture that inspired me of the of the Bible and then the side of it it says this is how I fight my battles um, so as well as like a wake up with the Bible type of thing because I feel like in the first thing in the morning it's so easy to just grab your phone and I really want to be intentional that not just the first thing in the morning I would go and read my Bible every single day but also that I before I go and sleep at night that that is something that I would be able to do um, every night as well so I've got it in my on my vision board it's something that I want to put out as an intention that I'm really passionate about and that I want to incorporate in my life way more so it's definitely going on my vision board Okay, so another thing that I've added on to my vision board um, is social media, specifically YouTube. So in the past, I've prioritized things like Instagram and TikTok and those other platforms. Um, and YouTube has always been something that I've been passionate about, but I've never quite gotten it right. Um, or I've not, I would start the first month and in the second month I would kind of slow down third month eventually I would not create any videos at all so that's something that's definitely changing this year
So as you guys can see, I've already started cutting out and printing out most of my pieces. And now what I'm going to do is organize it the way I would like it to be displayed on my board. If you found this video helpful and useful, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe, click that notification bell for much much more content to come. Here's to creating a future that aligns with your absolute deepest desires. Until next time, bye bye.